Cohesion is when water molecules are attracted to one another as a result of their individual polar covalent bonding. Within each water molecule, the oxygen is slightly negative while the hydrogen is slightly positive. Therefore, the slightly positive hydrogen of one water molecule is attracted to the slightly negative oxygen of another and they form a hydrogen bond. This is cohesion. Cohesion allows for the transport of water under tension in plants through, for example, the xylem, which is a very narrow tube, part of the vascular system in plants. This capillary tube, only one millimeter in diameter, demonstrates the ability of water to move as a continuous column up such narrow tubes, for example, the xylem in the plant. For example, within the xylem, you find that the water molecules are attracted to one another because the hydrogen is slightly positive and the oxygen slightly negative. So this creates a hydrogen bond between them and we say that there is cohesion between the water molecules. Additionally, hydrogen bonds can form between water and the surface of a solid that's composed of polar molecules. For example, the walls of the xylem. This is known as adhesion. In the capillary tube we saw before, the adhesion of the water molecules to the sides of the tube is because the sides of the tube are a solid that is made of polar molecules. So the water molecules are attracted to it, adhesion. This adhesion means that we observe the water level in the capillary tube to be above the water level that we can see in the beaker. The rising of the water up to this water level is called capillary action. As a result of both cohesion and adhesion, a tension is created within the continuous column of water that runs from the roots all the way up to the leaves that allows the water to move up and through the plant. Additionally, the cohesion between water molecules creates a very high surface tension, which allows organisms such as these pond skaters to use the surface of water as a habitat. Since the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules are so strong, that means that when these pond skaters are on the surface of the water, they don't actually break the hydrogen bonds. Therefore, these pond skaters can live on the surface of the water and effectively use it as a habitat. 